Hello everyone, welcome to Online Math TV. Today we have a mathematical problem, a mathematical challenge, and the question is on a radical equation. The question reads n minus 2 root n equal to minus 11. What well, there will be the possible value of n? Before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, this is Online Math TV, and here we solve mathematical challenges all the time from international math Olympiad questions and other exams. All right, if you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. Because at Online Math TV, we drop answer video all the time. Now let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we take our selection. So let's take our selection. Selection. We put down the question, which is your n minus 2 root n equal to minus 11. The number one thing we're going to do here is to move the minus 11 on the right hand side to the left hand side. So this now gives us n minus 2 root n plus 11 equal to 0. Because when minus crosses the sign of equality, it turns to up. Plus. Okay, now if you look at this, because of the presence of this radical here, we may have some challenges solving uh, this uh, equation. So what we do in solving this radical equation, all we need to do is to um, introduce some alphabet to represent the square root of n here. And so let's take p. So we can say here, yeah, let, okay, let um, p be equal to the square root of n. So if p is equal to the square root of n, and we have to make n the subject of the formula here, so we have to square both sides of this. So this will now give us p squared is equal to n. Why we are doing this is because we have ordinary n and the square root of n. Yeah. So wherever we see your n and the square root of n, we go ahead and substitute these entities there. So from this, this now implies or our original equation will now become your p squared, which is for n here, then minus your 2p, then plus 11 equal to 0. Easy. Now, if you look at this equation carefully, this is a quadratic equation. So we're going to solve this quadratically. And if you, again, look carefully again, we cannot use the factorization method. So here we're going to use the formula method the quadratic formula method so let's bring that our quadratic formula this says that if you have p equal to minus your b plus minus the square root of your b squared then minus your 4ac all over your 2a this formula is familiar to us because we made use of this formula in most of our um quadratic equations Okay, the next thing we do is to bring out the value of a, b, and c from this equation. So the value of your a is the coefficient of our p squared. That's what we have here. p squared, the coefficient is 1. And the value of our b is equal to the coefficient of p, which is minus 2. And the value of c is the constant, which is positive 11. Again. What we do here, let's go ahead and substitute the whole of this into our, our quadratic formula. So this now implies that our p is equal to minus, our b is minus 2 bracket minus 2, the plus minus the square root of your minus 2 r squared, the minus 4, the into our a is 1 bracket and our c is 11 close bracket let's cover this so well everything all over your two times your one so if we go ahead to open up everything we have here this will give us here p equal to your positive two plus minus the square root of your four then minus your 44 okay because four times four times 11 will give us 44 they all over your two good so if we subtract this this will give us p equal to your two 
plus minus the square root of minus 40 all over 2. Now, if we look at this carefully, we can express this in the form of we have your p equal to your 2 plus minus the square root of minus 1 times your 4 times your 10. Okay? All over your 2. But remember, we know that the um, your iota i is equal to the square root of minus 1. Okay? So, if we succumb to this root here, we can bring in your iota into the system here, and the square root of 4 is 2. So, we can rewrite the whole of this expression as your p, so this will give us your p, p equal to your 2 plus minus the square root of your 10, okay, then into your iota and times your 2, everything all over your 2. So if we rearrange this very well, then we're going to have this to be your p equal to your 2 plus minus your 2 root 10 iota all over your 2. Again, we can factor out 2 here. So if we factor out 2 here, we are left with your 1 plus minus the square root of 10 iota. Okay, so this is the value of our p. But again, we don't have p at the beginning of the question. So we come back to where we said let p be equal to the square root of n. So this now implies that our n is equal to the p squared. Okay, and what is our p? We calculated our p to be your flux, 1 flux minus the square root of 10 iota. Mind you, we have two solutions from this, okay? We have the plugs and the minus. Okay, so let's take case one, case one, case one, we have our p equal to your one plus the square root of 10 iota. Okay, so if we square this, then we're going to have our n is equal to your one plus square root of 10 iota r squared. Easy. So from here, what we do here is simple. So we can express this one out as your one plus the square root of 10 iota, the bracket one plus the square root of 10 iota. So we can open up everything here. If we open up, we're going to have n is equal to your 1, then this then this plugs your square root of 10 iota, 10 iota, then plugs your square root of 10 iota, then plugs your square root of 10 iota r squared. Okay, so if we open up again, these we give us your 1. Then this plus this will give us plus 2 root 10 iota. Then if we open up everything here, this will give us minus and this will give us 10. So we have here minus 10. Is there any confusion to this? No. So if we add this and this together, we can now have therefore our n1 is equal to your minus 9, the plus your 2 root 10 iota okay if we want to express this in a better way this now implies that our n1 we can equally express this as your 2 root 10 i minus 9 this is the value for our n1 okay we go ahead and look for our n2 which is your case 2 so we have case 2 case 2 we have our 
p equal to 1 minus the square root of 10 i again if we simplify using a dex because we know that our n is equals to your 1 minus square root of 10 the i r squared using the same procedure which i applied here now we use it to simplify this we're going to have our n which is our n2 is equal to minus 9 minus 2 root 10 i and so we can equally rewrite this to give us this now implies that our n2 is equal to minus bracket um let's take uh, 2 root 10 i there plus our 9 close bracket so this is the value of our n2 so these are the two solutions to our radical equation if you have a question with regard to the procedure applied here then uh, leave a comment in the comment section or you have a better way of solving this challenge then drop it in the comment section thank you for always be there remember this is all i must tv and my name remains jakes anemo bye for now